Hello again. This is competency number eight. Safely connect a transceiver. You're watching the practical tutorials for the practical assessment for foundation standard and advanced. Let's have a look at the competency itself first. Demonstrate safely the connection of a transmitter receiver, transceiver, ready for powering up. So basically, they're asking you to connect up a radio to a power supply, a power point, and to an antenna. Let's read how the assessor may assess you on this. Physically connect a transceiver to a power source, an antenna, or dummy load. Connect an external SWR meter and antenna tuner. All, in, all interconnecting cables and equipment supplied and in an appropriate uncluttered environment. No other equipment other than that to be connected should be available. So that's a the method they're going to use. And remember you don't have to know uh, intimate detail about a piece of radio equipment. You don't have to know where the volume control is, the RF gain control is. But you do need to know about the RF gain control and about the volume control. And if you want to turn the volume up, you ask the assessor where the volume control is and he will tell you because you're not being assessed on using a particular piece of equipment. You're being assessed on your general knowledge of equipment. Anyway, so what we have here is a power supply. The power supply connects to 240 volts by this connector here. So that would plug into the power point and the back of the power supply, it's a low voltage power supply, has got a positive and a negative lead. That would have to go to the positive and negative on the rear of the transceiver. So you certainly wouldn't turn anything on until you've connected everything up. So I'll just draw some drawings. We would plug in the uh, 240 volt lead and we would connect that and plug that into the power point. Pretty rough sort of a power socket there, but you know what I'm, I'm doing, that's the plug. So you would plug that into the power point, but you wouldn't turn the power point on. There'd also be a switch on the front of the power supply, you wouldn't turn it on either. So you've just plugged that into the power point, you would connect the black lead to the black lead on the radio. I'm just going to change colours, need a red one and you connect the red lead to the red lead on the transceiver as well. Changing colours again, forgive me, it's just easier for you. And then you would connect a, an RF patch lead, you haven't turned anything on yet, you would connect an RF patch lead to the RF output of the transmitter and you would connect in there your SWR meter. Now the assessor may actually get you to do this or he may, that looks like a 5, but it's an S. It's the SWR meter. And the SWR meter then would either go to an antenna or a dummy load. And if you had an antenna tuner, the antenna tuner would go in there, ATU, antenna tuning unit. So you would connect all of, up, all of that up first. You would plug the power point in. Connect the red and black to the red and black on the transceiver. Connect the patch lead from the RF output of the transceiver to an SWR meter. SWR meter to an antenna tuner if you've got one. After the antenna tuner, you could go to the antenna or you could put there a dummy load, a 50 ohm dummy load. The assessor will get you to actually describe that or he might get you to actually do it. But don't be afraid of knowing where the RF connector is on the back of the radio. Ask him where, the, where is the RF connector on the back of the radio. After you've connected everything up, then you turn the power point on. Then you turn the power supply on. Then you turn the transceiver on. And you're ready to make a test transmission then. And if necessary, adjust your SWR. That's all you need for competency number eight.